Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Tuesday. Um, today is June 16th, and I'm going to show you um, what you're going to be doing for today. Now, um, if you joined me yesterday, it's the same thing that you guys were working on yesterday. If you go right here to the end of the year printable memory book, um, it has yesterday's date, today's date. Click on that, and you could continue working on this. So it's a PDF file. Um, so hopefully yesterday you guys printed it out and you can continue working on all of the memories, all about you, all about your teacher, about your friends, all of your favorites, all of your best memories, more favorites, things, um, your wishes for next year. Um, so sharing all of your memories. And then this way, tomorrow, we could talk about some of those memories together. And then remember, classmate autographs yesterday, I said, you can just jot down your friends' names. Unfortunately, I know we can't, um, you know, we can't all do the autographs. You can jot down the names so that you remember who was in your class this year. So that is a keepsake for you to keep of second grade. And it's definitely one that's going to go down in history. So. You'll have this memory book forever, and you could look back and say, oh, do you remember that year we were stuck in quarantine? Oh, my goodness. Hopefully, we never, ever have to do that again. Um, that is all for today. What I want to do now is show you from Mrs. Prawl. She sent us a little slideshow about the summer stretch. So I'm going to show you this. So the summer stretch. This is for Fairfield students entering in grades one through six. So it's all going to be through Google Classroom this year. So to begin your summer work, you're going to join Google Classroom the same way like you joined our Google Classroom. So you're going to go to the Fairfield homepage. You're going to go to the students tab. Just to show you here. So remember, when you're at the Fairfield homepage, you're going to go to the Students tab, and then you're going to scroll down to Google Classroom. Once you do that, you're going to join the class, and here is the code IMBNF5V. You might want to jot that down. It will also be up posted in my video for you. Okay, but that is the code to join this new class, which will have the summer work in it. So jot that down really quick. I-M-B-N-F-5-V. Once you put that code in, you'll be in the class. So if you are in grades one, two, or three, and that's us, right? You're going to join. There's the code again. You're going to choose a book from the list posted to your grade level. Copies may be available at the Fairfield Public Library. Check their site for updates about book borrowing. If the exact title is unavailable, a similar book from the same author can be selected. Please read about the books through the link set up by our public library and complete the free registration to help with your future reading choices. So there is a link here. Complete one of these activities. You can retell your favorite part, express yourself, do an alternate ending. That means a different ending. You could write a different ending to the story. Draw a comic strip. And remember, you're going to log your reading throughout the summer on the digital log sheet. So you have Raz Kids. That's always a great way to practice your reading skills. Definitely, you know, if you don't have a lot of books available, Raz Kids is great because there's a ton of books there um, that you can use, all different topics. This slide we're going to skip because this is only for the students entering in grades four to six. So we don't have to worry about that slide. All right, so that's reading. And here's math. So for students entering grades one through six, 
If you haven't already joined the Summer Stretch 2020, please do that first. The code, same code, IMBNF5V. Complete your grade level math packet, about 20 to 25 questions. Okay, then it talks about grade one, you don't have to worry about that. Um, choose one of these activities to complete. So grades two through six, okay, spells out math. Choose one. So month, complete four activities from your grades calendar row. Arithmetic, work on your math facts with flashcards, technology. Complete some grade level IXL standards. Histogram or a bar graph, survey and graph your data. So you're gonna choose one of those activities. Packet answer sheets and parent sign-off sheets will be in Google Classroom. So submitting your work, all the work will be submitted through Google Classroom. No paper copies are gonna be accepted. So for when you go back to school in September, normally you hand in the summer work to your teacher. It's all gonna be done through Google Classroom. So students are invited to join the summer stretch, stretch out. 2020 Google Classroom. Okay, there's going to be three assignments posted, which are those three slides that you just saw. Um, you're going to complete the assigned task and turn in their work when it's completed. Same way um, like you guys did in our Google Classroom together. Press the turn in button, okay? All the work is due by the first day of school. If there are tech issues, let us know before returning to school. Each student's participation in summer reading and math work will help prepare students for their next school year. Reading. Students will complete a follow-up writing task in the September related to their summer reading. Completing at least one book and activity will ensure that they have something to write about for that assignment in the fall. And if you remember way back to September, you guys did do that. And you had a little activity where you had to use the book that you read over the summer. I don't know if you guys remember, because it was a little while back. Um, math, students will be practicing skills that will be on our September baseline assessments in the beginning of the year. Um, your teachers always give you those beginning of the year little tests to see. Um, how you guys are doing, what you know, it helps the teachers really to see what they have to focus on teaching. Um, and entering this, the reading and the math will definitely help you guys to, you know, keep up with your skills so we don't kind of like lose anything over the summer. So completing the packet will help them to be successful with that work. Now, if you have any questions, you're going to reach out. Now, for us, since we're at Stevenson, Mrs. Prawl, you're going to reach out to her if you have any of the any questions for any of the reading. So her email is here. Okay, Prawl C at fpsk6.org. Any of the math questions, you're going to email Mrs. Valenti, Valenti J at fpsk6.org. These are for Churchill, so don't worry about this, okay? Because we're not in Churchill. 